Hi, my name is Pastor Barista Mrs. Amaka and you are welcome to the Talk with Max. Max. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I'm really grateful. In my last video, I talked about choosing to be happy just after adversity or after you have experienced pain. Today, I'll be talking about learning to be happy because you have to learn to be happy as a matter of fact you have to make intentional effort to learn how to be happy so that's what we are going to be talking about today you have passed through pain i know that you are hurting i also know that your circumstances have changed tremendously and the change is such as you didn't wish for there are things the changes are things that you do not like you may not like where you have found yourself today i also know that you may still be hurting but um you know from the pain of divorce or from the pain of losing a loved one yes those are true those are your circumstances actually but the truth is that you must have to find a way of being happy you must find a way of moving forward you must find a way of encouraging yourself so that you can live that is one of the things that you might do that you must do life is flying so are you going to sit down and wallow in unhappiness and lack of joy that is not the right thing to do but you must not stay where you are there is a way forward you are still hurting yes i know that you're still hurting but you must let go and leave let go and leave you must come to a place where you must find happiness so that you can leave life is flying by so don't waste another moment trying to wallow in that place of anxiety or worry in that place where you are angry and unhappy and worried it's not the right thing it won't help you there are things that you need to do to be happy and those are the things i'm going to be talking about i'm going to be talking about nine of them but if you stay true till the end i'm going to give you a bonus the first thing you must have to learn how to do is to learn to live a life of peace a life of peace i said yes you must have to learn it most of the time when we are coming from a place of anxiety a place of you know when you have lost somebody you have been hit by a tide that you did not bargain for the first thing to do or the the natural thing to do is to slide into depression and unhappiness you are in chaos your thoughts are scattered but the best thing for you to do is to find a place you know the place of peace you have to learn how to bring yourself to that place of peace you must force yourself to come to that place where you have peace with yourself peace with the people around you peace with the society so that you will be able to live and to live that life of peace you must be flexible it's very important that you become flexible and willing to change or to make some adjustments because if you don't you will find out that you are always unhappy always depressed always grouchy and that you're always complaining if you are too rigid with decisions and the things you want to see happen then you will remain unhappy i tell you but if you are very flexible with your decisions things have changed yes you come to terms with them then you will be you know at the end of the day you will be happy learn to adjust and adapt to new things and new ways of life when you do that you will see that you begin to experience peace and when you begin to experience peace then you will move forward when you begin to move forward then you will have happiness you will see that you have become happy or that you will live a life that is full of happiness the second thing you have to do is that you must learn to rule over your emotions learn how to control your emotions don't let your emotions rule over you don't allow yourself to be upset or aggravated at every little thing all the time it's not right it's not good it will not give you a, ha a life of happiness no when you do that all you will see is that you become angry and worried and anxious and unhappy and when you do that you're not doing that you're not um living your best life you're not getting the best results it will show in your health 
So the best thing to do is to learn how to rule over your emotions. Be in control all the time so that you can move forward. Number three, learn how to deal with little things properly. Learn how to deal properly with little things. If you don't learn how to deal with little issues properly, then they will escalate. They will become into, uh, they will turn into big issues. And then it will blow out. You will not know how to handle them. Little things left untreated usually get escalated into big issues. So it is a must that you should learn how to handle little things and keep them in their proper place. Number four, learn not to allow yourself to get upset easily. You know, after you have lost someone, after you have passed through adversity or you've gone through a divorce, after you have experienced pain, there is a tendency that you will get upset easily. Little things will upset you. So you have to learn how not to allow these things to upset you. Decide not to let matters escalate. Don't let little things upset you all the time. Number five, learn how to live life one day at a time life is a gift every day that we see in this life is a gift from god so you must learn how to appreciate god for it the bible says in psalm 118 verse 24 this is the day that the lord has made and i will rejoice and be glad in it so every single day god expects us to be happy with what he has done at least we must be happy with the gift of life and the things that come with it because every precious day comes with bounty so if you learn how to live one day at a time and learn how to appreciate god for the gift of life every day then you will live a happier life life is too short not to enjoy every single day so i want you to learn how to be happy and the way to do such is to learn how to appreciate God and live one day at a time. Number six, learn to enjoy everything in your life. Life itself is a gift. The people and the things that you have also is a gift. Your family is a gift. Friends are gifts. Your work is a gift because there are people who are out there that don't even have the kind of job that you do or they don't even do the, business, the kind of business that you do. You have something doing. So be joyful and be thankful. So learn how to appreciate everything and enjoy everything that God has given you. Learn how to do it. Learn how to enjoy your health. God has given you good health. It is right for you to enjoy it because if you don't know some people are there that are sick some are in the hospitals and they have strange diseases they have not the opportunity to enjoy their health so while you are healthy while you are healthy enjoy that health that is given to you learn how to enjoy your work or whatever it is that you're doing maybe your business or the people around you learn to enjoy your moments appreciate the moments that god has given you they are things to enjoy and you must have to learn how to enjoy these things. Don't let these moments pass by because there are people out there that do not have the opportunity or the moments that God has given you. These things are, you know, they are all privileges. So learn how to enjoy them and you will see that you live a happier life after going through pain or adversity. The Bible says something. It says, while you have suffered for a while, it didn't say you have suffered. It didn't allow us all, you know, the Bible did not ask us to suffer long or to suffer forever. So when you have suffered a little, you learn how to enjoy the rest of the life that your God has given you. Then the seventh thing that you must learn how to do is to learn to be happy right where you are. Where are you at? Where have you found yourself? I want you to know that where, where you are at is God's will for you. That is where God wants you to be. If he doesn't want you to be there, he will not allow you to be there. So be happy right where you are. Learn how to be happy where you are. If you are not appreciative, you will not be happy where you are at. Most of the time, you'll be comparing yourself with others you'll be comparing your situation with that of others and when that happens you cannot find happiness so for you to find happiness or to live happily you must learn how to be happy right where you are bloom wherever you have you are planted if you are a flower if you are planted in a particular place are you going to argue with the person that planted you and say oh this is not the right place for me no every flower that is planted everywhere does not complain it just goes ahead and blooms so i advise you bloom wherever you are 
planted. It doesn't matter what the circumstances are because this is the will of God for you. Number eight, learn to be happy in spite of your circumstances. Yes, the circumstances are there. Things are there that are not right. And let me tell you, everything must not be right all at the same time. You can never have a perfect condition or perfect circumstances. So what you need to do is to learn how, despite all these things, to still go ahead and find happiness. Still go ahead and learn how to be happy in your circumstances. This is very, very important. You must learn how to look away from the circumstances. Learn how to look away from the things you are suffering, from the pain you are going through or the pain you have gone through learn how to look away from those things and then lift up your head and i believe that god will help you to be happy so that you can move forward number nine learn not to worry about the things you cannot change this is very very important very very important don't worry about the things you cannot change always focus on the things that you can do that you can change for example your attitude you know, if you are able to change your attitude after undergoing pain and circumstances that you do not like, it will help you to be happy instead of complaining and worrying about things that you cannot change. Because when you do those things, if you keep worrying, keep being anxious about things you cannot change, it will not even help the, pattern, the, the matter. And those things will not even change because of your worry. So learn how not to worry about the things that you cannot change. I remember that I told you that if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you a bonus point. So here it is. This is the 10th point and it is learn how to appreciate today learn how to appreciate today it is one day at a time enjoy the journey not just the destination i have learned that everything can never be perfect at the same time every situation will not be perfect and you will never have everything perfect in any situation so i want you to know that you must learn how to be happy if you do these things you will find out that you have more happiness Thank you very much for watching my video. But please, before I go, can you subscribe if you have not done so? And then like, also comment in the comment section. And also, don't forget to hit on the bell button because that will notify you when I post my next video. Thank you very much and see you in my next video. Bye.